Well, an incredible afternoon of international sport here in the Longines FEI World Cup jumping Guadalajara. Uh, just four combinations came back to fight it out against the clock. Antonio Chedraui and Nin Lube uh, finished in third. Antonio, just tell us about the about the track in the first round. There were certainly lots of questions on the course. Yes, I think it was a tough enough uh, track. We were just um, starting the, the year with our horses coming back from a little bit of a break. And I think it was quite, quite tough. I think uh, he did a, the course designer did a great job and uh, actually ended up having, I think, a perfect jump off. One of the lines that really seemed to cause issues was that long jean combination. Why do you think that was? It was a little bit downhill and coming from uh, uh, seven strides on the turns so was uh, uh, a little bit difficult. You, you had to, to be patient and, and let it come. Uh, but in the end, I think uh, it was tough, but I think it was very fair for the horses. As we were walking the course, I had a chance to chat to a few of the riders, and they seemed to think it was, it was going to be not easy, but certainly not too difficult. But there was maybe just some questions that they didn't notice on the way around. How did you think when you walked today? It's always like that with Olaf. I think he's such a good course designer that uh, gives you a lot of confidence when you go into the ring. When they, then you find out that you really have to ride it if you want to go clear. I think he did a, an amazing job. And finally, if you could come in again, do you think you could do anything different to try and keep that rail up? <laughs> I think so. I think so. Pro probably I would have taken a little bit more time. No, but uh, in the end, you never know. You, I'm, I was trying to win the class. Well, fantastic to have you with us. Uh, Antonio Chedraui then finishing third here in the Longines FEI World Cup jumping in Guadalajara.